half past nine on a bright and sunny uh, Saturday morning. Uh, so bright and sunny. The weather prediction for the weekend in Lambourne here is a very consistent 7 degrees C but it feels a lot colder than that out here, out there because uh, it's a bit windy. I just spent a couple of hours looking at this the overnight postings, very excellent ones. But it's time to uh, do my next video, video, random video. So here we are. Press the random button, and it says thirty. Okay, so number thirty, just off the bottom of the screen. Is another Mamod, a TE1. Well, well, well. Um, I wonder if I'll take that outside. No, it's too cold and windy. So, there it is. I'm going to need two hands to uh, take it down from the top shelf there. So, I'll just shut off the camera for a moment. Okay, I've got the engine down to the kitchen table. Also, taking the opportunity. To uh, put the camera on the tripod. So, let's get it filled up. Just overflowing. The overflow plug back. A bit tricky to get up with the canopy in place. I suppose I should really have removed it, but there we are. this back into the bottle. Might help if we lit it first.
Okay. Move the drive band, don't want it shooting off the table. Yes, actually, I think uh, I think we will remove the canopy. life a lot easier. Doing things like oiling up. Okay. Now for the boring bit, waiting for it to come up to steam. Here's some crackling already. Nearly there, not quite. Oh, I think I was a bit optimistic when I said nearly there. <laughs> I thought I felt a bit of pressure, but perhaps not. Help if I open the regulator or the throttle. Still not quite there. The worrying bit of water down in the scuttle there. Maybe the overflow plug needs a new washer, but it doesn't look too bad. She seems a bit reluctant to want to go for some reason. We have steam there. is off. Ah, 
angle is actually the reverse to what you'd normally expect. But uh, just confirm that they, they aren't losing steam through the whistle. Not much anyway. For some reason, we're not getting much action. I think we are nearly there. Seems to be taking a very long time to get up to pressure. Unless we have some exhaust blockage. We do seem to have steam. Perhaps not enough pressure. Seems free enough. I have a nasty suspicion this is going to be a failure. a little bit of a leakage from the overflow plug. I don't think that would be enough to stop it. This is disappointing. It's so close. It just won't run. It is a while since I ran this one, but it did run fine last time I did run it. Seems free enough, but no. Or two of oil. See if it might help. Doesn't seem to. I'm going to remove the handle from the throttle, see if that does any good. Careful not to lose it or the spring. Seems to have two nuts on it for some reason. a mess now anyway. Right, what I'm going to do put some more mets in. a minute to get back. We don't seem to be getting anything coming out of the exhaust. Oh, there's a few drops of water there now. Pressure's back up to what it was five minutes ago.
doesn't seem to be any better than it was before I moved the throttle handle so I don't think that was the problem and we do seem to be getting some water spitting out of the exhaust which implies that it's not completely blocked anyway and we are getting plenty of steam to the cylinder so I'm a bit puzzled about this one No obvious reason why it shouldn't work. Now it's obviously not going to go, so this is going to need some further investigation, I think. Great pity, a bit of a disappointment for our second STWWW video. I think the uh, first thing to try is to put a new washer on the overflow plug. It does seem to be leaking a little bit. And while I'm at it I'll put a, a new one on the whistle just in case. That's where we place them all. And then put some wire down the pipes just in case uh, they appear to be all right everything appears to be all right we'll just have to try a few things okay well I've uh, replaced all the washers and poked a bit of wire down the portholes there's nothing obviously wrong, but uh, I've topped up the water in mess and we'll give it another go, see what happens. It's gone almost cold so we'll have to wait for it to come to the boil again. Nearly. At least we don't appear to have the leak at the back end of the boiler now. So that might have fixed it. We're away. Just. So, success in the end. So I don't know whether it was the washers or the poking of the wire down the pipes that fixed it. I suspect the washers. Put this under there to stop it running away. We have a runner! Second video was partial failure. But a success in the end. The engine's picking up steam.
to put the handle back on the exhaust. But most of the steam still seems to be getting into the smoke box anyway. It seems to be going reasonably well now. my bag of washers emptied out onto the table. That's the wire I poked into the valve ports. work reasonably well, unusual for an MR whistle. I don't know if the camera is picking it up. It sounds alright to me. You see the source throttle without its handle. It's just spitting water. to put that back before I lose a bit. This is a fairly early TE1, not the first, but I can't remember the date. I can never remember dates. But it has proper bits, no, not long bolt. It has the exhaust bottle. And it has the ripped canopy. Vaporizing meth burner. Again, like the SE1 yesterday, this is a uh, classic Mammoth. This is a sort of the mobile equivalent of the SE1 in terms of popularity, I think. Just beginning to slow down now, so I think the mess is probably running out. Now it's going, it seems to be reluctant to die. But, <laughs> but I think the mess is getting very low now. This is a case of all's well that ends well.